Okay guys, in this video we're going to be talking about how we can heal medial epicondylitis, also known as golfer's elbow. Medial epicondylitis is basically caused by our wrist flexors, the muscles here that make our wrist be able to do that, become too tight and stiff. The reason our wrist flexors become tight and stiff is due to activities in which our wrist flexors are constantly contracting and shortening. So when you think of golf, you're doing a golf swing and you're coming across and shortening on the way out and tightening your wrist flexors, concentrically contracting them every time you do that, which over a long uh, period of time is going to really shorten your wrist flexors and leave you with pain and could make you a lot more vulnerable to golfer's elbow. The first thing we can do with medial epicondylitis is massage. What we're going to do is basically massage out our wrist flexors and loosen them up, get rid of all the knots and uh, tension points in our wrist flexors so that they can uh, get a nice release. Yes. Let's try first of all sliding up and down the muscle and you'll find where you have more pain. Sometimes stay on some spots and move your wrist around so you're almost doing like trigger point therapy on your wrist flexors and get up and down and just get to the nice tight and painful spots and work them out and when the pain decreases usually that's a sign that the muscle is relaxing. If you don't have one of these and do not want to buy one, I think this is about, about 8 quid off Amazon, but if you don't want to invest in something like that, uh, then you can just simply use a tennis ball or you can simply just dig in there with your fingers, massaging out all the tension points. Or otherwise you can uh, obviously go to a massage therapist. Okay, so the next step is to strengthen and stretch out our wrist flexors. I know that sounds quite confusing because we, you would assume that they'd already be too strong, but usually due to them being so short and stiff, they actually end up becoming very weak and dysfunctional. So the best way that we can incorporate a stretch and a strength exercise at the same time is to focus on eccentrics. The piece of equipment especially made for golfers and tennis elbow is the Theraband. So when I had medial epicondylitis, it was my right side that was affected. So we'll go with these exercises, imagining that, again, it is my right side that we're trying to heal. So the first exercise using the Theraband, we're going to grab with our bad hand, our right hand, and uh, flex our wrist and pull it towards our body. We're going to then come over with the left hand and turn out, and then extend at the elbows, and then slowly let the Theraband take us into extension. Again, I'll do it face and forwards. We're gonna flex at the wrist, bring it in towards our body, come over with the left hand, turn around, so we're spinning the theraband. Then as we extend our elbows, the therabands are gonna slowly take us out into extension. And last time, in towards us, come over, extend out, and then slowly let the theraband take us into extension, eccentrically lengthening and strengthening our wrist flexors. For the second exercise, uh, our hand that we're trying to heal up, we're going to take above us like so, uh, with our palm facing out and elbow out to the right hand side, and left hand is going to come underneath, palm facing towards us. We're then going to bring our arms out and let, again, the theraband slowly take us into extension. So from this side it looks something like this, coming above and below, twisting out, and slowly letting the theraband take us into extension. For the third exercise, using the, our right hand again, our uh, hand that we're healing up, we're gonna try and keep our shoulders locked into place so it's all coming from the elbow and wrist, and we're just gonna go from supination to pronation. We're gonna turn over into pronation, again, using our wrist flexors to do that nice strengthening exercise. Try and move the shoulder as little as possible so we're not doing this, as that makes it easier and takes all the tension off the wrist flexors. Just trying to come over, moving just our elbow and wrist. Okay, so they are basically the simple things that I use personally to heal my medial epicondylitis. I'm so glad that I found the eccentric ways of stretching because when I was doing other stretches, I was getting a release for maybe an hour or so and then I just found that all the tension would come back. Uh, if you're not a fan of either of these two and you don't want to invest in them to treat your medial epicondylitis, then stay tuned to my channel as I'm going to make a video basically showing how we can do the exact same things I've talked about in this video but without any of the equipment.
But most of all, look after yourself, keep smiling, and I'll see you in the next health video. Goodbye.